Good morning. Today for the OpenSCAD case series, I'd like to do. I'd like to add a USB cutout and a power cutout. Um, this should go pretty quickly because this is not terribly difficult. Um, there. So, but we're going to start out with on how to measure it. I've covered this in some other um, videos on how to measure using FreeCAD. I really like this because it just kind of uh, lets you stay in in your PC. Uh, I do like measuring things manually, but I, I also like that I can do it here too. So I'm going to bring back my combo view, combo view, and I've already imported a step file, an Arduino step file. And you can find a lot of these out there. I can't vouch for the accuracy of it, but um, I'm sure it's pretty darn close. So we're just gonna we're gonna go with it. Um, what I have here is I've already added a page from the drawing and dimensioning tool, and now I'm gonna add a ortho view of the Arduino uh, step model. That takes a, a second or two, and you can see we've got the one side view, but it's it's uh, wrongly oriented. We're gonna fix that in a second. I'm gonna add a second view because there's a measurement we're gonna be needing from that. So you see, here's the two views we need, but we really want them um, moved around a little bit. And I've already established that I need it from the X, the minus X vector. So we're gonna select that. And these are gonna flop around a little bit. And that's, that's what we can use because we need to know from this bottom corner where these are gonna be positioned and how, and how big the entire cubes that represent these are. So that's good, we want that. So now we're just going to simply add dimensioning. And the dimensioning is always, for, for this drawing, is always going to be from what we've predetermined to be our zero origin on this model, which is right in the bottom left corner here. And so from that, we're going to say how far on the Y to you know, uh, each vector that we're going to be examining. So how far on the Y, and then how far on the X, uh, how far on the X, X over, and also how far up on the Z. Um, so that's for positioning, and then we also need, uh, and, and that'll take care of how far apart they are and stuff like that. Then we also need the size of each of these. So first I'm going to do uh, the size of each of these. So we pick our add a linear dimension, and to, pick, to do the size, you just pick the different points on the object. And you go to the next you can and you can do multiple in series on this so you don't have to you know re restart every time you do it um, so now I want to get the distance off off of the for the uh, distance for the Y to the start of each of these and let's move that there and distance to this Y And then we get the uh, the depths of each of the uh, the x dimension for the cube for each of these. Thirteen two oh eight. Okay. And now finally, we need to get the um, how far it's going to be uh, up off the z. And I think that's the last thing we need. So for this, I gotta zoom up. So what what you've got here is that you've you've got so many dots here because that's a uh, you're looking at a curve on edge. So all we really care about is is where this line is and where this line is. So we're gonna do from just take the first one that highlights and go to here. So that's that's the distance up on the Z. Um, I'm gonna take the first one up here and. Doesn't matter if you don't get the exact one, and that's the actual height of the power, of the power thing. Um, so now we're going to get the actual height of the USB. So I don't need another. That the USB is on the same plane there, so I don't need another one there. And the USB is a different height than the power, so we're going to select those two and bring that down to there. So you see how they're not quite the same height. The power is a little bit taller. Um, so that's all the measurements we need. So now we're going to we're going to use these measurements in our open SCAD drawing. So the next thing we're going to be creating is these two blocks that represent the full volume of the power and the full volume of the uh, USB port, the power port and the USB port. I've left these sitting here even though I've entered the document so you know what we're shooting for. And what we'll use these for is, is to subtract from the, the larger case. So we'll subtract holes from the larger case. And we're gonna, we're, we're 
taking the same methodology as before is that we're considering the corner of the Arduino to be at zero, zero and where these are in retrospect. And what that allows us to do is kind of move all these pieces as a whole and they'll all end up, um, if they all have the same reference point, they'll all end up in the same place. So I did a few little changes to the, the, to the model since I cut or to the, to the measurements and you'll see what I did is I f had forgotten to add the X offset and that's into the, into the negative vector of the X. Um, and uh, I redid one of the measurements because they were, I was getting a slightly different measurement than before, so, but we'll use those. So what we're gonna do is, um, let's stick to, to, to the side of each other so we can read off of it. Get rid of the combo view and let's get rid of, So you can't get rid of the actual viewport, so that's okay. So let's um, so we'll do a side by side and redraw it. You see that disappears. And what I'm going to introduce in this piece is, uh, or or reinforce the, uh, things that I've introduced before, is um, I've, I've adopted using array variables to store the coordinates uh, because I just find it to be a little bit. Uh, easier to understand everything. So I'm just gonna re be reading directly from my measurements here. So 13208 for the X, 8.89. So this is for the power jack. And then for the Z is 10.922. So now we're gonna do the power um, Let's call this the power size array and call this the power position array. If anybody has some cool neat names for arrays that, that uh, they've thought of, I would love to hear them. So this is, so this is the distance um, offset. So offset from zero, zero. So this isn't the size of the object, but where it sits, where the corner of it sits in the coordinate system. And um, so in the y, or in the x direction, it's negative 6.3 minus 6.35, because this is our origin here and we're going to the left. Um, in the y direction, it's up 3.81. And in the z direction, it's just set up from I guess it, it could be zero in the Z direction and it probably shouldn't be the bottom of the board. So I'm thinking bottom of the board to match the mount, the top of the mounts, which is probably what I want. So let's do 1.524. Um, and this, these measurements are definitely over, overly accurate because we're gonna have anywhere from a 0.25 millimeter to a 0.5 millimeter um, slop in a FDM model. So now we're gonna do the USB size array again, this is really basic stuff, but I wanted to in, in, include it in, um, in the tutorial anyway, um, just in case, you know, you're following it from the start, this might get you there. So now the USB, it's the same thing. First, we're going to do the X dimension, which is 16.218. And then let's do the Y dimension, which is 11.849. And the Z is going to be here, which is 10.668. Now we're going to add a USB position array. The other, I think, advantage of setting up it as an array is it, it creates the ability to make the whole thing a little more parametric. Um, so say if I wanted to change this model to have a um, I think I did the power wrong. I'm sorry. So this power was not 6.35. It was 1.524. And this was negative 6.35. Um, what it lends the option is, is later on, we could swap out these arrays with an array for, uh, you know, maybe an Arduino Mega or, or whatever. Um, so maybe make it so that it's a little more uh, modular maybe don't know so the y offset for this is the y position is is found here so it's 32 32.601 and the, 
the funny thing is, is I've, I've measured this before and I got, I've gotten different measurements. So you got to be careful, I guess, where you pick. Um, I don't know why it's different. It's kind of funny. So, and then the, the Z is going to be the same as the, uh, as the USB one. So that's, that's all our positioning we need. That's basically all the hard work. So now we're just going to be adding um, two cubes. And it's going to be the power array. And I'm just going to copy that down. And copy the power size array. I'm sorry. So let's put the power size array here. And the USB size array there. Okay. We can close this now. We don't need it anymore. And let's, that puts the cubes in. So we have our two cubes, but they still need to be positioned. So now let's do a translate. And we're going to do a power position array into this translate. And let's just copy that down here. And USB position. should move them to where we want but it didn't so let's figure out why and I'll be right back okay for some reason I decided to put uh, semicolons <laughs> don't know why and of course semicolon terminates so I was it so with a semicolon here I was effectively translating nothing so that's our cubes that's you know what we're going to use to cut out of the the other model um, to make space for the holes so now let's switch to the the uh, case bottom and cut these out. Okay, so the final step is to add the code that we created um, separately into our growing model for a, a 3D printed case. We're going to be adding this code as a, mod uh, or a, a module for the larger program. And I like to do some things as modules so that you can tuck some of the details out of the way. So, for example, the filleted posts here are contained in this module. So all you really have to look at is is the uh, module call there. So for for this uh, for the USB and power, we're going to create a module called USB and power. And that's going to contain everything we need to cut cut these out. And even though these are here, uh, the code doesn't exist yet. So let's update it, and they're, now they're gone. So module USB and power, um, and the call will be the call to it will be right at the bottom of there. Um, and it's going to be cut out USB and power. Things. Okay, so now let's go to our, um, let's open our other file that we just, that we had just closed. That was the, the USB and power one with, the, with this code here. Um, and we're just going to copy this straight down into our, our module here. So I like to do this a lot. I, um, I dry run code in a separate in a separate window so that I know kind of, you know what what's happening so w the only difference between this and the previous one is this module this module call here is within our difference our differencing uh, call at our, our differencing call for the whole for the whole model so it'll be cut out instead of just added as blocks um, so I, I do like to add you know as many notes as I can it's not good documentation but it's some and I think that's it oh I, yeah, we need to translate the whole thing so that it so well, let's show you first outside of the, and let's move this outside of the difference and show you what it's going to do without moving the whole thing. All right, let's see what I, let me pause it while I find what I did wrong. I already know. 
Okay, so that put our blocks at zero and zero. Well, we want them down here. You know, it put or it uh, created them from the origin point zero and zero. And if you remember when we did the posts, we had to move them down to where the box is, um, or we could have moved the box up. But um, you know, you tend to have to do that with open scat here and there. So let's first let's move these down. So we're, what we're going to add is um, a translate. And that's going to be, let's, I'm going to, I'm going to add a, um, add an array that we, we, that I've already defined to how much it's going to translate. So what I've done is I created a, uh, one to move the post down, I created a position vector array. So you see the posts and I'll, let me just turn that off to show you are moved move down now here's them in full relationship to the USB and power and you see they're correctly aligned as, as if it were a, and when I do this it moves them down onto the box and the, the, the position vector array is defined up here let's find it and what that simply is is it's um, it takes these these variables and moves everything half the distance of those variables so it's it moves it you know down by down by the half the height and it moves it over by half the length and uh, and down by half the width uh, because um, to get it in the in the place where the box is because the box is centered and what that allows us to do is we change the length and width and the posts and the USB and power move with the length and width so let's let's uh, do the translate for the um, close that guy. Let's do the translate for the USB power. So we're going to copy this vector right here, and we're going to put that in. Uh, so I guess this translate should probably be. If I want to stay consistent with my what I've been doing here, the translate should be around the method call. But you know, it doesn't doesn't really matter. But. Um, try to stay consistent so let's let's so that's let's put that uh, position adjustment vector and uh, hit five and it should move them down so that so you see how that uh, moved them into place now let's push this up to into within our differencing call um, and see now that it cuts it out that's good that's what we want now let me show you if we change uh, either of these variables for some reason maybe we want it giant you'll see that these have moved re uh, respectively you'd still be able to mount this um, you mount the Arduino correctly and maybe add a display up here or a keyboard or something like that um, so that's it for for the USB and power cutout next up is um, I, I think we're gonna do uh, a lid and I might eventually do like a battery and a display I don't know it depends how much I want to do this more if you if you like this video please subscribe I'd love that it makes me so happy every time I see a new subscriber and cl and ring the bell or click on the bell that's the notification so that lets you know when a new video has come out and um, and and please like like the video and there's three more in the series so far ahead of this one I encourage you to take a look at those they teach a few a few nice concepts and this load this code will be up on um, on Thingiverse go over and check it out there thanks so much